So in this video, I wanna go through these filters right here. These are by Freewell. They sent these to me for the DJI Osmo Pocket. And there are a couple of filters that I actually wanna go through today in specific, the ND1000 and the Clear Night filter. All right, let's get into it. What's going on guys, my name is Jason Morris and today we're gonna to talk about the ND filters by Freewell for the DJI Osmo Pocket. Like I said, they do regular ND filters, they do polarized filters, but there are two filters that I actually wanna dive into, specifically the ND1000 and the Clear Night filter. Now this is the ND1000. So this thing is absolutely fantastic when it comes to uh, getting a nice long shutter speeds and getting good motion blur. So if you wanna get a creamy water look, the ND1000 is great during the day. You can also get at nighttime really long slow shutter speeds for light trails if you want uh, back of like tail lights of cars, something like that. Um, these are really good to use. Uh, it's mainly photography based. You can do it for time lapse as well or motion lapse, but you know, photography, it is really good for the DJI Osmo Pocket. Secondly, I wanna talk about this thing right here. The clear night filter for the DJI Osmo Pocket. Now this obviously gets rid of that yellowy tinge through the night skies, and it actually brings it back to a normal tone. Um, but I'll also talk about uh, color temperature that you'll have to set inside your DJI Osmo Pocket as well. So white balance is very important when it comes to uh, shooting uh, in different situations, indoors, outdoors, or nighttime. Um, but uh, let's go out into the field and test this filter right here. All right, let's go. All right, I'm out here in Brisbane city uh, with the DJI Osmo Pocket with the day and night filter. And I'm gonna show you exactly what this thing can do and the advantages of using this thing at night time. So I'm gonna show you a few things uh, with um, white balance as well, uh, paired up with this thing at night time. All right, let's get into it. Now this is a shot at ISO 100, 2.5 seconds for the shutter speed and it's at auto white balance. Now I changed the white balance to 3200 Kelvin and you can see that clears the photo up. It's the exact same exposure settings with that as well. And then I'll chuck on the clear night filter and you can see it's got a bit of a purpley blue tinge with auto white balance. I did have to shoot it at three seconds because it is a little bit darker shooting through the clear night filter. And now I've got it on a Kelvin 3200 and you can see it's a little bit cooler there at night. Now I've got it here side by side, no filter and the clear night filter. And you can see the differences in the color temperature with the photo. Now also this is an edited image I did in Luminar 3 um, with the Kelvin at 3200. Now we got a little bit of a video here and I'll show you this is with the filter off and then I'll put the filter on here. You can see the color difference completely. It does make things a little bit clearer through the night so there's less light pollution. And here's a couple of photos with auto white balance with the filter off and the filter on. Same thing, seven second shutter with the filter off and then uh, an eight second shutter with the filter on. All right, well it's all done. Let's get back into the studio. So we are back here. That is it from me, guys. Please like this video if you found it useful. Comment below if you have the Freewell ND filters, if you have any questions about it. Um, and tell me your thoughts on these filters as well. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you already haven't. Hit that bell notification right there so you can be notified when my videos come out next. Guys, my name's Jason Morris, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, let's get it.